And we are back. Yes. Hi, Paul Anthony here for Jazz Unlimited, heard weekly on the Society Bites Radio Network. Join me this and every week for Jazz Unlimited with Paul Anthony, Tuesdays at 4 p.m., Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Society Bites Radio. Okay, now we're back. Are we truly back? I, I don't, don't know. know. So, <laughs> this, I know we were just talking about bike riders and whatnot, um, but the other thing that kind of kisses my keister here is the people with the six-way highway and they want to try to run through all six lanes when there's obviously a crosswalk not more than 500 feet away from them and they try to run across the road. I believe those folks are in the morgue now. No, no, they're still doing it. But I actually saw one of those... It was poor incident fault, but I actually saw one of those happen where the person actually got hit and it was not a pretty scene, but... And they were also... It was nighttime and they were wearing dark clothing. And they wondered why they got hit. On a six-way highway. On a six-lane highway. I-19 is famous for its pedestrian deaths because people try to run across those six lanes. And you just can't do that. I mean, I don't know anybody that is that fast that they can see every direction and get across that highway nice and safe. It just, it's not going to happen. Well, and um, yeah, it's frustrating as a person who hears the news has to put up with people dying every day because of stupidity. This is true. But I still, like I said, I mentioned it before, I find it very funny that there could be a crosswalk so many feet away from them, but they decide to cross. And I'm not talking like jaywalking that you would have up in New York or Philadelphia where you're like in a one or two lane road, you're just running across the street. We're talking like three lanes on one side with a border and three lanes on the other side, and people are actually running that like a gauntlet. Well, not only that, you'll see them do the uh, high jump over the medians just to prove they can. I know, and it's it's so much fun to watch these people, and I and I'm just like, all right, we're in the middle of like a Frogger game. Is he going to make it? Do do And you know, I don't know. Yeah. Well, here's my next pet peeve. Okay. Asking questions when I'm on the phone or talking during a movie. Oh, that's a good one, Katie. Get, tell me a little bit more. Um, okay. Let's just say I'm on the phone with a client. And somebody comes into my office and they're not even realizing that I'm on the telephone. And I've got to sit there and go, excuse me, mute. Excuse me, mute. Excuse, you know... And it's like, that is so rude. It's like, why can't people just shut the hell up until I'm off the phone? Or if they see me on the phone, excuse themselves and say, I'll be right back when you're not busy anymore. Cool. Thank you. Doesn't happen. Wait, am I really supposed to do that for you? Yes, you are. That and bring me donuts in the morning. Well, you know, the donuts, I haven't been able to bring them. Well, maybe our guest is going to have donuts. I don't know. Well, we can only hope. Who is our guest today? Our guest is Toddy Jadu. Ooh, there's an exotic name. It is. <laughs> she calls herself a little hot Toddy, too, but we'll get yeah, a little more that, in that. I heard that little whisper there. <laughs> <laughs> a little whisper of hot Toddy, but we'll we'll figure that one out. Do you want to... So, let's bring her in right now. So, Toddy, welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a hot Toddy. <laughs> okay, I can take off on that one. <laughs> well, that's a kiss me, kiss me moment right there. Yeah. Well, How many let, people did you offend? <laughs> let me give you the reasons. I come from a hot country. I live in a hot state. So that makes me hot. Point taken, point and served. She has the bourbon. That's part of hot toddy. Look at that. <laughs> See, she's got you right there pegged already, Kate. Smart woman, what can I say? <laughs> So, so Toddy, what we like to do is we talk about our little pet peeves, and uh, we were just talking a little moment ago about like people interrupting during movies on their phone or conversations. Do you have anything that you want to add to that? Well, actually, I wanted to... Can I jump behind that? Sure, go for it. You all were talking about people walking the street like randomly. Mm-hmm. In my country, we don't really have traffic lights, and we have highways 
And that's the only way we know how to cross the road in front of the cars. And we just tell the cars to hold up and we go across. Interesting. That's what we do. But but we're in America. We I was raised that I was told that I had to cross at a crosswalk. <laughs> well, I wasn't. So I know. Imagine culture shock when I got here and there was a traffic light. Okay. okay what that boils down to is either one, monkey see, monkey do, or two, when in Rome. Do as the Romans do. Exactly. You got that. Exactly. See, this is why we have you on board, Kate. Oh, I was hoping there was a more important reason, but that's okay. No, that was a great reason. <laughs> but what? But any topics about the movie that we were just talking about? Like, anyone interrupting movies or anything like that? that yeah, really... with, with the two scenarios that you gave, the movie one would be a pet peeve for me. Because it's like, I'm already trying to hear the movie. I have a little bit of difficulty hearing, and then on top of that, somebody's talking. You could hear them talking louder than you could actually hear the movie playing, at least for me. So it's like, shut up already. The, the <laughs> other one that I, the other one that I hate is using your cell phone while the movie is going on. You know, the movie is dark; they darken it so that you could see the screen and hear somebody with their cell phone. And immediately, you turn around to see, okay, so what is that? And you can't say anything these days because they'll probably shoot you or something, <laughs> or throw their popcorn at you. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, but you know, I could catch that. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you with a cup. Here, keep insulting. <laughs> That'd be a great thing for you, Kate. Hey, I- I'll save money any way I can. You know, we're going to go to the movie, you and I. I want to see this in action. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, we could do a film live of this, too. And I'll be the one talking. There you go. Hey, the last time I went to a movie, the chairs were so blessed and comfortable, I almost went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It was and it was chairs. a great movie, too. Yeah, I they're think... doing that in the movie theaters lately. Oh, I know. It's nice. These recliner chairs. Yeah. Imagine, I recline on the chairs, and I have half the chair left over. Well, that's almost like a full bed for you. Yeah, right? Now, for those of you who can't see Tati, I have to tell you, she's like four foot, ring and wet, in high heels. She says four, five foot two? No, I'm four foot seven. Four oh, foot. she's four foot seven. What Talk about I the know? seven. <laughs> Talk about the seven. Well, and she's not seven foot, I can tell you that. And if I stretch, I'll be half half an inch taller. <laughs> see, my, my feet are hanging off the chair right now. Yes, this is true. But this you can see me. Yeah. As long as you're sitting in a chair, you get up and walk away. I don't know it. <laughs> At that point, we're like, where'd Toddy go? So where'd Toddy go? Oh. You have to look down. Oh, dang. <laughs> hey, great thing comes in little packages. Just That's remember right. that. They do. So, Toddy, we're going to ask a quick question here. Well, we're going to pull from our little poddex.com, and we're going to ask you a question. So, has anyone started a rumor about you? If so, what was it about? Come on, this kid. You got something. Well, I have to go way she's, back. Yeah, she, she's going way back. Yeah, those you can really hear my wheels turn in my head. But yeah, um, uh, I had a cousin who used to call me Duck. That's not quite a rumor, but I, I was pigeon toed when I was growing okay. up. So the rumor was that Duck. Interesting, Duck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I've never heard that before, but all right, Duck, pigeon. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah. Nice. All right, let me ask you one, Toddy. Sure. Would you rather accidentally laugh loudly at a funeral or fart while giving a speech at a wedding? Laugh at the funeral because farting would be very embarrassing for me. And if I'm given a speech, they probably can't see me, so then they will hear me. <laughs> so no, I think the funeral will be good. <laughs> well, laughing at the funeral. Well, we were, well, just just to go back, I I'm just going off this is we we talk about like the seat height difference and all this other stuff. Couldn't you hide in the crowd with the fart and no one know where it came from? <laughs> yeah, I could probably if I'm giving this speech and there's a podium, I could actually duck down behind the podium, <laughs> and then they'll want to know, well, what is she doing? And by the way. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm moonlighter than stand-up comedian. And I get all my jokes. They are short jokes. Give us... Give oh. us here you go. No give, pun intended, I'm sure. No pun intended. Give, give us a joke. Come on. It'll be a short one. Well, put it me will. on the spot. Why don't you? 
Okay, one of my short jokes is that I'm not sleepy, I'm not dopey, I'm not lazy, I'm not even happy. <laughs> <laughs> See, even if you don't get it, you laugh. It is true, but I love it. I, there, I really there's do. three kinds of short people. There's dwarves, there's midgets, and there's smidget. I'm a smidget. I'm on the tall end of the spectrum. That's interesting. I'm too tall to be a dwarf, and I'm too tall to be a midget. I'm actually a smidget, which is a dictionary word. It's a real word. I believe you in that whole section. Yeah, you know, for those of you who don't know, go look it up. Don't ask us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, d- just go look it up at some dictionary. Some dictionary have it. Slang, Webster's, I don't know. Hey. It's not slang. Well, no, I'm just saying there's different dictionaries out there. It could be a slang dictionary. It could be a Webster's. It might not be in the slang dictionary. It's a real word. It could be. I'm saying it is, but I'm just saying it could be in any one of those uh, Outlook books. Who oh, knows? God, people, please. <laughs> yes, Mom. But anyway. <laughs> All right. Hang on to that thought. When we come back, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to we're gonna be asking Toddy a lot more questions. Because I know she's going to have some good answers. Yeah. We'll be right back. Individuals and businesses with tax problems, listen carefully. Do you feel like you're losing control of your finances? If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, we can help you take back control. The IRS is the largest and most aggressive collection agency in the world, and they can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Take control of your tax problem now by calling the experts at U.S. Tax Shield and take advantage of the Fresh Start program and new law that may allow us to negotiate a settlement for the lowest amount possible. Our team of tax attorneys and enrolled agents can stop collections and get you protected so you can take control of your financial future. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, so call now, 800-317-7211. That's 800-317-7211. U.S. Tax Shield, 800-317-7211. You may not think of flu as a serious disease, but complications can lead to severe illness, hospitalization, and even death. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends everyone six months and older get a flu vaccine every year. Vaccines are available at doctor's offices, pharmacies, and local health departments. Protect yourself and your loved ones this flu season. Get a flu shot today. Learn more at cdc.gov slash fight flu. And we are back. Our guest today on Society Bites Radio is Toddy Jadot. I love the way that name sounds. It just sounds so exotic and and sexy. Well, that's the other one. My other nickname is SSS, short, sweet, and sexy. And there you have it. So any of you single guys out there, let me tell you, she's available. Today I posted what I wanted. Oh, you did? What did you want today? I want... A rich country um, western singing, a uh, cowboy hat, and he must be a conservative. Yeah, but Rory Rogers is dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was taken to, wasn't he? Well, yeah, he had. Uh, Jane, it, Joan? No, it was Dale. 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 Of course, most of us thought it was Trigger, but. <laughs> I have no idea. I just know, I know Roy you're Rogers. Too, you're too young. young. No, but I oh. know of Roy Rogers Chicken because they had the franchise and it was really good. They had not the same thing. <laughs> True, but it was good. Anyway, <laughs> so we just want to let everyone know that thank you for listening to Society Bites Radio. And we want to make sure that you listen to us. And if you like what you're hearing, please go to SocietyBitesRadio.com with B-Y-T-E-S dot com. Go to the More tab. Or go to the yeah more tab. Go to KMK. Click on that, and then submit your comments, questions, pet peeves, or anything on there. We want to hear from you. Absolutely, because I need something to keep me up at night. <laughs> and you need a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, go ahead, Kate. You said you wanted to ask uh, Toddy some more questions, oh, okay. so go for it. All right, Toddy, I'm going to give you your choice. Yes. Would you like a what the heck? Or a would you rather? What the heck? That's not my type of person. 